this. All right, this is Jack's video. And one of the things we talked about was, first of all, our hand position. I could see that your hand was up like this on the banjo. Made you feel, because it's kind of, you're reaching out there and it made you feel more secure. But even though you're reaching out, I want you to kind of put it in the, the fork. There's the fork between the thumb and that finger. And I'm going to turn it like this. And I'm going to put it in the banjo like this. And there's going to be a little space in between that in that V, okay? I don't want it to have to be like just up like this, like a lot. Then you can't pivot, can you? You know, you can't pivot like this. So you want to have it. You see your thumb kind of peeking out over there so that you can pivot when you... When you're here, your thumb's going to be kind of visible there. Then as you pivot, it kind of kind of lays down a little bit, doesn't it? And disappears. So see that? So, so if I go, if I'm sliding with my second finger on the third string at the second fret, then I want to pivot. And the strength is going to come from in here. So you, when you get this position, you want to practice like, Squeezing it between your thumb and your finger that's down. And then you'll see this right here. See that Arnold Schwarzenegger, eat your heart out. Okay. Here we go. And then we're going to do the slide. Then we're going to go into that alternating roll. So it's... Third string, slide, and index finger on the second string, and thumb on the fifth string, and uh, middle finger on the first string. All right. That's it. And looks like I was going to sleep mode, didn't it? All right. So we did that. And we also did. Um, we also did Worried Man Blues using the forward roll pattern. We went into the second uh, stanza of that, which is stanza is a line of music. We did the first one last week, and we did the second one this week. And all we're going to do is we're going to put this C chord on. Don't forget about leaving that third string clean. That one. Playing right behind the frets. And then making sure that each note's clean. This, if this second finger collapses or is too far this way, it's going to sound like this. And you want to get it up here, overplay a little toward the top of the banjo. You want every note to be clean. So a certain amount of your practice, I want you to work out making all those notes clean. You can also, see this way it's going to lean out. You can also like arch them in straight down <coughs> from the knuckle there a little bit. So this is kind of laying down. This is kind of standing out there. And so you want to get that chord clean. Then you want to do... So we're going to, I'm going to play that second stanza. There's going to be a forward roll on the fourth string with the, the next thing on the fourth string. And then another forward roll, but with the next thing on the third string. we're going to go two third strings and a fourth string. And then a forward roll all open. We can take our left hand off because we look up above us and we see the G, letter G, and that means it's a G chord, open G. All right, so that's going to be... I took my left hand off, didn't I? See how it changed? So I'm just going to go. All right, so that, that last measure is all four string. First measure is all four string. Second measure is all third string. Third measure is the one that switches, just like we switched on the third measure of the first stanza. But we went, as far as strings, we went two, two, three, right, in the roll. Now 
now we're going to go three dun, dun, three dun, dun, four dun, four straight dun. all right so that that and anything else uh, oh forward reverse roll for reverse roll we don't need to do our left hand we just go like this Let's see. 